World Tank Blitzers, it's Littlefinger. It's Friday, October 11th, and yes, I am doing a store review. I didn't do one last week for a couple reasons. Primarily, the store was kind of boring, not a lot in there to talk about, and also the weather that has been going through. Um, for those of you that are affected in Florida and North Carolina primarily, and also some areas in Georgia were really hard hit, I uh, hope you guys are safe and recovering quickly. Um, so let's jump in. First, I want to talk about the Season 5 Legends, they're calling it. Uh, tanks that essentially you're going to get power cells through various means throughout the game. One of those is purchasing them with other items in the store. So that's why I wanted to talk about them. But if, as you are aware, you want to equip your tank all the way up with all of the equipments, you're gonna need those power cells. If you don't have those power cells and you hit that speed up, you can purchase them uh, for gold. And essentially it's a one-to-one -one ratio. So the, the power cells do have a value when you're looking at purchasing items in the store. So keep that in mind as we jump into the store here. Um, there's quite a few draws going on. And again, I just wanna warn you guys about the odds of getting these draws. If you look at the Cobra here at 0.07 is where it starts. That's uh, basically 0% chance of getting it on your first few draws. And of course, if you come up and click on the information on the top left, you're gonna see how much you're really gonna have to spend in order to, to get that uh, tank, whatever is offered in the middle. So. I highly, uh, I don't recommend these. Um, I try to stay away from these if you can. There's the KPZ tank in here as well. Um, all right, I, know, I think they're down below. So anyway, um, while we're here, <clears throat> I do want to talk about the Soul Eater. Many of you have probably seen this out in games. Um, I don't have it. Um, it is a huge tank. It has that double shot feature, very similar to the Helsing, but from what I can tell from having watched some battles in it, that second shot does seem to be a lot more accurate than the, the Helsing. Um, and your average damage there is 270. So you're just under 600 damage there with, uh, with both of those shots hitting. So. Um, this looks like a very intriguing tank, um, would like to, to get it, however right now it is only in containers, so um, you know, be wary of that. As we move on, I think all of these tanks, yeah, except for this Courageous Sixes, which I did want to talk about. Alright, so these are Courageous Sixes, Tier 6 tanks. And you're going to get almost 3,000 power cells out of an $18 purchase. And um, by the way, I do my math of 650 gold per dollar. That works out to be 11,700 gold for four tier six tanks. So let's quickly talk about these tanks. Cromwell B, I would put almost in a very... Uh, almost a must own tank this tank is super fun it's got so much mobility the gun depression on this is really really good they're at 13 percent you can actually shoot through your rear deck um and and it's just an all-around good tank at tier six now obviously you have to want to play at tier six some of you guys might have just blown right past that tier and aren't looking back the churchill not a fan super slow uh, very easy to pen um, some of the areas on this tank. I just don't like the heavy slowness of the tank. Now, Type 64 is a very fun tank. You've got that light tank concealment and you've got a top speed of 72 kilometers per hour. Of course, you've got no armor. This thing is an HE magnet. Um, but again, that mobility is super fun. And then the Dicker Max, which is a surprisingly strong uh, tank destroyer in my opinion I was really surprised with its uh, mobility for 40 kilometers per hour got eight degrees um, of that gun rotation left and right 15 degrees of gun depression so you can really get this thing into some nice uh, usable spots so 
the reason I'm you know talking so much about this this bundle here, uh, if if you just divide that by four tanks, you know you're you're three thousand dollars or three thousand gold per tank, and that's not including almost three thousand gold equivalency in those power cells. So. Um, a yeah, all of these are going to have a, a gold reimbursement if you already own one. So the, you know, if you own only one of those and, and you're looking to get three, it's not that huge of a, of a cost. So uh, I would consider this a, a decent, decent offer right now if you like to play tier six. All right. The rest of these tanks, yes, are going to be in... Um, in the tank section. So let's just go on down here to the tank. So we're going to start with the WZ111 tier 10 heavy tank. Um, <clears throat> 6,800 um, for the power cells there at $42. That's a really expensive price. Uh, works out to be about 27,000 gold. But if we look at the other options here, you've got 22.5. Um, you're not going to get as many containers and you're not going to get the power cells with this option here. So keep that in mind. Um, and then the, the base without the, the camo is just a 20,000 gold. So we'll talk about it here. Buying this just with 20,000 gold. I think the price is still too high on this tank. I wouldn't spend over 17.5 on it, to be honest with you guys. It is just your basic heavy tank profile um you've played this tank so many times at tier eight i'm sure um it, and i and i find nothing enjoyable really about playing this tank at tier 10. it does fare very well on the battlefield it's got nice armor good gun uh decent mobility but again the play style is just to me kind of boring so keep that in mind the char future and honestly i don't think i've played this tank enough to really give it a full honest review i've only played it a couple times i'm not sure why um it's a french medium tank you know you've got um uh let's see with the speed on this 60 kilometers per hour so nice mobility for a medium tank you've only got that seven degrees of gun depression um and 340 average damage uh, quick reload damage per minute is a nice number at 3,000 for a tier 9 tank. So um, from what I remember, you know, the tank is, is very serviceable. Um, just a single shot medium tank at tier 9. It's just, it's just a strange tier. You know, oftentimes your bottom tier. Um, so for $30, let's just do this real quick. You're looking at 19500 um, and even if we subtract off, let's just say 5,000 for the, um, the power cells there, you're looking at 14,500 for a tier nine, which is still a high price in my opinion. And keep, keep in mind, this tank has not been out that much, which is why the price is quite high at the moment. Um, moving on to the K91, there's your power cells for buying this with the cash option. Um, you are going to get some awesome containers in here. Um, but to see this tank still at 15,000 gold after having been around for so, so long um, <clears throat> is honestly a little bit disappointing. However, it is one of my favorite tier 9 heavy tanks. Um, and part of the reason with it is you've got a little bit of a unique armor profile. Um, don't rely on the armor too, too much with this. But what I do like about it is your three shells in the magazine with 3.5 seconds between shells doing 350 damage. So you get all three of those shells to land in seven seconds, you've done a thousand damage. So it's very easy to come away from a game not thinking you've done that great and you, you're sitting there at 3,000, 4,000 damage. Um, those numbers really rack up and I uh, don't think you really realize it in game. <clears throat> Excuse me. Keep in mind a 16 second full magazine reload and the reason I pull that up is because we've got another tank with an absolutely longer uh, magazine reload that I wanted to just point out. <clears throat> so anyway, 15,000 I do think is a little bit on the high side for this tank without any of the really good extras associated with it. So just keep that in mind. Um, the Canarvan, 
We've got, uh, looks like four awesome containers and almost 3,000 uh, power cells there. So if we look at, what was it, $18 times 650, that's, <clears throat> that's 11,700 if we subtract out the 29, 24, you're at 8,000, which is a reasonable price for this tank you're getting all the equipment slots you're getting those four extra containers the premium camo so this is really not a bad deal if you want to drop 18 bucks on it um provided you are looking to max out your um your your season tanks right <clears throat> if you're not then this really has no value to you but the reason i say that is i'm putting the canarvan here in a must own category uh it's fairly unique in the fact that it's got strong armor but it has that British gun with the accuracy, low damage, high firing gun. So just keep that in mind. Um, but it does help with the, the amount of armor that this tank carries. So I, I, again, like I said, would put this in the must own category. And certainly there, 8,500 gold seems like an equivalency with, with it. And you're not getting the power cells or, or those um, containers. So um so yeah i would buy that with with cash if if you can all right so moving on to iron companions here we have got the fc 50 and the su 122 which is a tier 7 so we got tier 8 tier 7 here 9,000 gold price is really good for two tanks here the fcm um <clears throat> really is a as a fun tank especially in some of the fun modes because it is such a heavy tank so it can do a, a good bit of ramming damage. Um, nothing too, too special other than that. I don't remember on this tank. Eight degrees of gun depression. Your, you know, your average um, damage is 225. It's all very standard for a tier eight. So, um, you know, 26 damage per minute. It's a medium tank, so the armor's not super great. Um, it, as you can see, it is a big tank, um, and like I said, really does come in handy um, on those fun modes. So, and then, then the SU-122 is kind of also a fun little uh, tank destroyer. Um, you know, it's got the nice 25 damage, 2500 DPM for a tier 7, and uh, 400 average damage per shot, 500 if you can get that HE to pen. So, um, I'm sure probably all of you guys probably have this tank already so it may not be such a good deal um that su 122 has been around as long as i've been playing this game for 10 years so um 5, by itself 7500 both of those are just average deals nothing great on, on either of those um rampant raiders here let's see what's in this one um as far as extras you're just getting the camos on them um some five x's which are just for those tanks and I feel like 15,000, you know, 7,500 gold per each. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to say it's a little bit high. And, and the reason why, Progetto is a must-own tank if you don't already have it. Um, I believe it was given away quite uh, a little while ago. Um, but three-shot, active reloading. Um, so you don't have to think about, you know, forcing reloads on this tank. Um, it's got good mobility, you know, your damage per minute number doesn't look too, too great, but it really does do much better than that. You've got nine degrees of gun depression, 55 is your top speed. Um, and, and I, and honestly, it's a must own tank. It absolutely is. However, looking at the Aston Rex here, um, I am not a fan of this tank and I'll tell you why. You look at this damage per minute number at 1800 when we compared that to 22 on, um, the other with the Progetto there. But look at this magazine reload time, 21.78 seconds. This feels like horrendously long, considering like the heavy tier nine is 16 seconds. It's five seconds extra, 25% longer. Three shells in the magazine. And and this one, you really, really have to be uh, wary with your positioning. Um, you know, if you get rushed or, or you know, just out in the middle of nowhere, that 21 seconds feels like an eternity. I mean, I just, there's been games where I don't even know if they've lasted 21 seconds. But anyway, um, so yeah, I, I wouldn't recommend this bundle just because of the Aston Rex is not a tank that I would recommend unless you are a true, true, true collector. Um, so yeah, I think that's going to get us to the end of the, the review here. There's 
obviously quite a few tanks out there to choose from you know we've got several events going on so um i hope you're all having fun out there and of course get educated not fingered little finger out